I never heard that. I read all the Bashir things that happened last year that came out. We were talking about it on this channel a lot. At no point did I hear... So last year, I'm sure we all remember hearing about the Bashir controversy with the whole Princess Diana thing. And I thought that had all blown over now, and I'm glad to see another headline in the paper about it. But this one, they're wasting your money. Have a look at this. Princess Diana's private secretary received substantial damages from the BBC over 1995 Panorama interview. So the BBC should have put their checks and balances in place with Bashir. And to be fair, Bashir should never have been hired by the BBC anyway. And all this dirt and all this stuff, and Bashir got some of your money. And now to cover their back, they're having to pay off some people with compensation. Your TV licence fees. Your TV licence fees are being squandered by the BBC again. Well, that's not exactly breaking news though, is it, really? In a statement released Thursday, the BBC apologised unreservedly to Diana's private secretary, Patrick Jepson, for the serious harm caused by journalist Martin Bashir in securing the interview, during which the princess famously claimed there were three of us in the marriage to Prince Charles. I think serious harm is a bit strong. Committed illegal fraud would be the word I would use, and coerced by the BBC to do a better job to try and earn his salary, possibly. Serious harm? Really? The corporation added that it also paid a substantial sum in damages to Jepson, stating that it accepts and acknowledges that serious harm was caused to Commander Jepson as a result of the circumstances in which the 1995 interview of Diana, Princess of Wales, was obtained. Okay, so the secretary was part of it with Diana, and has now received a substantial sum in damages. But what about the rest of the royal family? What about her husband at the time, Charles? What you think of him is immaterial. He was part of it too. Where's his substantial sum in damages? What about her two sons that have been harmed through all of this? Where's their substantial sum in damages? I think they've all received apologies now, haven't they? But how come this person's getting the cash? I don't know. Blimey, hang on a sec. I was just reading the rest of this. I was trying to see if it mentioned why he'd got a substantial payout. And there's a paragraph down the bottom. I've never heard this before. Have you heard this? Have a look at this. While Bashir will never be prosecuted for his deceitful methods, the BBC has suffered both financial and reputational damage. In September 2021, it paid significant damages to former royal nanny Tiggy Leg Bork after it emerged that Bashir had allegedly convinced Diana that she had become pregnant by Prince Charles and produced a fake abortion receipt as proof. I never heard that. I read all the Bashir things that happened last year that came out. We were talking about it on this channel a lot. At no point did I hear that he had faked a receipt of abortion as proof that Prince Charles has impregnated a nanny. Or is it he convinced Diana that she'd become pregnant by Prince Charles? Either way, he's made fake abortion. What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Tiggy, who previously left her job as a nanny back in 1999 after she got married, now resides in Wales and is reported to have received in excess of £100,000. £100,000 of the BBC's money, which, to be fair, she may very well be entitled to. For that one, when the hell did that happen? And Bashir will never be prosecuted for his deceitful methods. He committed fraud. He, he fraudulently produced documents. Why? Why is he being allowed to walk away with it? And he's probably still going to get his BBC pension and everything as well. Oh, God. It's a mess. What a dirty... Horrible, deceitful organisation the BBC can be. And the quicker the BBC's gone, the better. You know, scrapping the licence fee and all that's all well and good. We need to get rid of the corporation in its entirety because they're horrible, horrible. So what do you think about this? Do you think that her private secretary deserved a, a claim for serious harm and was given some money? And what about this abortion thing with this Tiggy lady getting a 100 grand? I never even heard of that. Did you hear of that? I can't believe I missed it. I can't have been that public out there if I've missed it, because I've read all the Bashir things. Maybe I just forgot that I read it. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you heard about that in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.